Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I was going to show you how I sewed this beautiful wig together using some kiki curly bundles that I received from All African. Hey Shaquafala, she's wearing the finished wig. Unfortunately, somehow I managed to delete all the footage. So what I'm showing you right now is the completed project. I am so sorry for that. I used this weaving cap that uh, has adjustable straps in the back and it doesn't have any other kind of combs or attachments or anything, just these adjustable straps. And I used uh, just some thread and a curved needle and I sewed the wefts onto the cap all around. Um, and I, yeah, I'm sorry about that, that sucks. But anyway, I love this hair because look how well it blends flawlessly. So I made my wig with uh, the hair accessories that I received in this little cute little bundle. It's got, uh, it comes with two curved needles, it comes with the weaving cap and four wig combs as well as the thread. So um, yeah, that was my project while it was howling outside. Did y'all get caught up in the blizzard? Cause we got about four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten inches. So here's the wig with the wig cap, wig combs installed. So anyway, um, here I am, I'm just putting it on my head because you know, after you make a wig, um, it fits a little differently. So once I got that on my head, I could actually start to start to blend in the textures, my own texture. And it's just a twist out, or excuse me, it's just a braid out. So now I'm just kind of making sure that my own braid out blends in with this Kiki Curly wig and it's Zillas, and I'm very, very happy. See how well that blends in? Um, and yeah, so now you gotta get your edges together so your hair don't look crazy. So I use my favorite control paste from Curls, and it's the uh, passion fruit control paste, just an edge control girl. And I uh, use a little toothbrush to get those edges looking sleek and shiny, okay? I love this product. You never have to use heat. I can't believe I used to do that. So now that the wig is on my head, I'm attempting to style. So basically what I like to do is I like to pull the curls out and make it frizzy. And then I will snip the um, curls that are fringing my hairline so that they blend in a little bit better with my own hair because my hair, of course, I just recently mini chopped and it's not that long anymore. So I have to make the layers blend in with my own hair so I don't have like a little situation going on. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just pulling the curls out and trying to make it uh, a little bit more realistic. Be careful when you cut though, because you might have a whoopsies. So yeah, this is how my wig turned out. I still have a little bit of fluffing to do. I'm going to continue to pull out the curls and I'm going to also get my uh, rake comb and, and, and try to fluff it up and make it even more frizzy. So yeah, that's it. I love these curly styles on me. The only thing that I get a little nervous of is after I wash the hair, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. So when I do wash this wig, I'll make sure to do an update um, because I might have to do a twist out to blend in the curls instead of a braid out because you know the braids out, braid outs are tighter. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming to my channel. I truly appreciate it. More information about the hair is in the comment Ooh, description boxes below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you guys.